Good day, Dino friends. Today, I wanted to talk about exactly why I've decided to move my stream to Twitch. Uh, it was a hard decision that I thought about for a long time, and there is a very long list of things that I've taken into careful consideration. And in this video, I will go over the entire list. So yes, it's a very long video, but before I start, there are two very important things that I have to say. Uh, number one, I will not be leaving YouTube. I'm just going to split it up so the live streams will be on Twitch and YouTube will have a lot of videos again. That's what my plan is right now. Uh, over the last half a year or something, I've only made a few videos on YouTube because I've been streaming so much and I want to do a lot of videos again. So in the future, expect way more videos on YouTube and a lot of streams on Twitch. I think it's just going to be best of both worlds. And number two, right now you cannot find me on Twitch. So if you look for Buildosaurus on Twitch, you will find someone called Bulldosaurus without the I. Uh, that is not me. This is someone who I think streams soccer or football games in another language. So if you like that, follow them. Otherwise, don't follow them. Uh, but that's not me. If you want to follow me, my name is Buildosaurus, the same as this YouTube channel. Um, and you'll have to go via the link. I think Twitch is not showing me yet because I didn't go live yet. So that's why I'm probably hidden still. So yeah, make sure you follow the correct Buildosaurus. And if you don't really care about exactly all the reasons why I'm moving to Twitch, then you don't have to watch the rest of the video. It's just a very long list of every reason why I've decided to move to Twitch. Uh, thank you for watching. Let's move on with the video. Okay, I'm recording. Okay, okay. Welcome everyone to like the first video in a long, long time because I've been streaming almost every single day for the last half year. I've been streaming so much. However, some people cannot make it to the streams and this is really sad. So to those people, it's like as if this channel died, which is weird because I've been live every day. But for some people, it's like the stream or like the channel died. So that's why I've decided I'm going to record a video because I have decided to move the stream to a site called Twitch. I think most people know uh, Twitch. Twitch is a site where that's made for live streams. That's not made for videos. They have some videos there as well. But that, like YouTube is more like a video site. Um, TikTok is more like a short video site, you know. Twitch is like the the big live stream site. So I want to make a video today talking about why I'm moving the stream to Twitch. Okay, everyone in the chat is angry because I just, just for recording this video, I'm turning off like the YouTube chat almost entirely, the live stream chat. People are mad at me. I'm sorry, guys. I'll turn everything back on after I'm done recording this video. I'm sorry. Otherwise, I will lose my focus. You know me. I will lose my focus if I'm trying to record this video and I leave like the YouTube, all the live stream chat and stuff on. I get super distracted. So that's why I've turned everything off. Anyway, uh, yeah. So for those who don't know, Twitch is a site for live streams. Uh, but first, I have to say I'm not leaving YouTube. I am only moving the live stream. Wait, how do I go around this? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, I'm not going to make it. Oh, Ooh. Okay, I'm only moving the live stream to Twitch. I'm not leaving YouTube, so don't worry about that. It's not like I'm quitting YouTube, moving to Twitch forever, stuff like that. Um, if anything, there will probably be more videos on YouTube uh, after we move to Twitch, because it will actually make it easier to make videos. And there's also a lot of other reasons why it's actually a good thing to move to Twitch. And that's why I've decided to make, uh, I just wrote down a list, just like pros and cons, like good reasons and bad reasons to move to Twitch. And I've decided that it's a, probably a good idea to at least try it out because the reasons to do it, the list of reasons to do, to do it is a lot longer now than the list of reasons to not do it. What is this? Okay. Uh, um, okay, so I'm just going to check out the list. Oh, I actually made it to the end. I actually made it. Pro mode as well. Pro mode as well. That means uh, I don't get saved. Other people get checkpoints. I don't. Yes. Oh, that is my 100th win as well. I got my 100th win live. See, I get distracted easily. I get distracted so easily. This is why I turn on the YouTube chat. Uh, 
almost entirely off. Okay, so I have a list right here. You guys cannot see it, but I have the list of reasons. I think I'll just do the reasons not to do it first. The uh, bad things that might happen. Uh, because, you know, like bad news and good news, you always say the bad news first. One reason why not to do it is that there's a lot of people who watch the live streams on YouTube who get like a badge um, uh, for being a member, uh, which means like donating every... And once a month you do a donation basically that's what a member means and they get a badge and the badge levels up every month they do it so some people on youtube have like a badge like the longest one is green thunder he has like a three year badge because he has actually supported as a member of the channel for three years which is crazy uh sadly when we move to twitch that means that badge will kind of be, uh, I guess, reset. I mean, on Twitch actually also has badges and stuff. So that's not the problem. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not really the problem. The problem is that it basically resets. So that kind of feels mean to those people. But there's not anything that I can do about that right now. I think I will give the members on Twitch another special badge. Because there are two special badges that I can give people. One is a VIP badge for the people who like always visit. So everyone who's watching right now as well. Those people who are just always there. They will probably get a VIP badge. Because they're like the most loyal viewers. Um... And also there's first badges for the people who are like some of the first viewers and supporters of a Twitch channel. You get a special first badge. So I hope some people will come to my first few streams and they will get like a first badge. Okay, I have to wait here so I don't fall like last time. So there are ways around it. Uh, it's just said that people will lose their membership badge progress. But I'm going to try to make it up by giving those people other badges and maybe other things as well. Wait, I try. I press jump. I thought I pressed jump. Okay, the next bad thing is that some people just don't have Twitch. This makes a lot of sense because Twitch is officially a 13 plus site. It's officially not for kids, which is why I cannot actually ask everyone to go to Twitch. I'm just saying... Please follow the Twitch uh, if you have a Twitch account. But if you're like a little kid, you're not allowed. So at your own risk, I guess. I guess don't do it. But all I can say is that my Twitch channel, I'm going to keep it as kid friendly as possible. I'm just like, I'm working really hard to keep the YouTube as kid friendly as possible. I'm quite strict. A lot of people know that. I'm more strict than most people when it comes to like what you can and cannot say. Um, but yeah, Twitch is a site that's usually more for older teenagers and adults. So that's why uh, a lot of people who watch the YouTube uh, live stream... <laughs> Wait, well, I pressed jump again. Why does it not count when I press jump there? <sighs> okay. So some people who watch the YouTube stream very loyally, people who come like almost every day, some of those people might be left behind. And that makes me really sad. Uh, I wish we could just have everyone from the YouTube stream on Twitch. Um, however, this is a decision that I have to make because... I cannot just like not move forward with the Buildosaurus channel and everything on Buildosaurus. I cannot like not do something just for a few people. Um, so that's sadly why I have to decide to still try it because I think Twitch will just be the best decision uh, because of a lot of reasons that I will get to later in this video. It's very hard because of the same reason that I just say it. It's very actually very hard to build a young audience on Twitch, uh, which is also not my goal. So this is like one of the first things that I wrote down, but I kind of changed my mind because it, it's not really my goal to build an audience on Twitch. I actually kind of like uh having very few viewers because then it's easier to keep up even now with only like even when i have like around 20 viewers only who are actively talking i sh struggle pretty hard keeping up with what everyone is saying in the chat because the chat just goes by so fast and i get distracted super fast uh so i actually prefer a uh, stream with less viewers um the goal is not to build an audience on twitch but actually to bring the best moments of the streams, turn them into videos, put those on YouTube, and keep growing the YouTube channel instead. That is more the goal. So that's why this negative thing doesn't really bother me that much, because my goal isn't to build an audience as well. Uh, anyway, uh, people in the YouTube chat are saying, 
I'm going crazy because he's not reading the chat and because of slow mode. I put on something called slow mode so they can only send one message per minute. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry for not reading the chat right now uh, because I'm just recording this video. And I think it's important that everyone knows why I've decided to move to Twitch. Uh, next downside is also there's currencies. Basically, everyone who's watching the stream gets uh, something that I call blocks. We can make up the name. I call it blocks. Uh, that's basically channel points for watching uh, currently. How are you even supposed to do that? Okay, I don't even know uh, Right now I've said it so like if you watch the stream you get like five No, like like one block per minute on average a little more than one block per minute So there's some people who are loyal viewers who have like thousands and thousands of blocks Some people have a lot of blocks uh, Sadly when we move to twitch uh, I guess it will start at zero again with channel points. Of course, channel uh, Twitch also has channel points. Just a lot of these things YouTube just took from Twitch because Twitch is the real live stream site and YouTube is just sort of kind of trying to copy. That's why YouTube has members. It that came from Twitch uh, channel points. Uh, but it's kind of sad that people will lose their channel points, especially those people who have like thousands. So I'm going to try to give everyone on Twitch the same amount of points that they had, or blocks. It's called blocks on my channel. So to give everyone the same amount of blocks. Uh, okay, I don't know how to do this jump. Oh, never mind, runs over. All right, guess that's fixed. That's just going to be kind of a pain for me, mostly, because I'm just going to try, I'm going to try to give everyone the same amount of points that they had on YouTube and give them that same amount on Twitch that same amount of channel points, but that's going to be painful for me and a lot of work. But you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys. I might also have to rework all the alerts. So for everyone who doesn't know, uh, when someone subscribes to the channel, especially if it's a subscriber on YouTube, um, there's like two or three, I'm not even kidding, like two or 300 different gifts that can come up. Uh, let me let me see if I can show some. For instance, here's a test. You can get this one. You can get this one. You can get this one. Okay, well, there's like there's there's about 200 of them. I think 200 ish, maybe even 300 ish of those. And those took me forever to like like I they all have a different color of the name as well. As you can see, they all have a different color of the name. Those took me forever to make. So I have to redo all of that. So that is also kind of like oof for me, especially. But you know what? I'll do it for you guys. Every time I look in the corner of my eye, I see the chat. I'm almost getting distracted. No, I'm not reading the chat right now. I have to finish this list before I read the chat. Well, I wrote down that it's kind of sad that I made the whole copyright free playlist. I have a copyright free. Oh, someone is subscribed. Godzilla, welcome to the channel. There you go. There's another subscriber alert. There's there's like so many of them. I have to redo all of them. I don't know. I hope there's like a way to just transfer them from YouTube to Twitch. That would be awesome. But I don't think that exists. Um. So I have a playlist of actually over 5,000 free, copyright free songs that you can use on YouTube without getting in trouble, copyright trouble. This is one of them. Someone redeemed this one. Oh God, let's not do this song. So yeah, I don't want to have to like remake that whole list, but I think I have to do that as well. So that's a big downside as well. One of the reasons why I didn't want to move to Twitch originally is just having to redo so many things that 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 takes so long just insanely long a lot of work but you know what that is my problem so i guess i won't bother you guys with that but that's just one of the biggest reasons why i didn't want to do it twitch doesn't really have the same countdown as youtube has youtube has a pretty good countdown system for live streams where basically you can already go to the videos page the live streams page and you can already see uh, a countdown on it and it will just say this stream will start in 20 hours you can literally put it i think as long as you want you can even put like a countdown for a live stream for next year uh, which is pretty cool however I, I thought twitch didn't have anything like this but they do actually have like a little plugin that you can put right below the stream so i'll do that on twitch uh right below the stream you can have like a little calendar that just shows what days of the week you go live and how much longer until the next stream and it automatically turns it oh i die here again i keep blindly jumping there i have no idea how to do that it's just like a star made of lasers i don't know how to jump past that 
I'm very confused about that part. Uh, what songs are allowed? Uh, just do some chill background songs now, guys. Um, because this is just going to be a YouTube video. A simple talking video. Um, so yeah, that's not really a problem anymore. This is like one of the first problems that I wrote down. So that's not really a problem. Because just below the uh, Twitch stream, I will, I'm going to put that little calendar thing. It's just going to say, build the sources live this day, this day, just every day I'm live except for Thursdays right now. So it's just going to say all of those six days and it's going to say exactly what time I start in your time zone. It automatically turns it into your time zone, which is really awesome. That is really awesome in my opinion. It automatically turns it into the correct time zone. There's another thing that is very hard for people to find you on Twitch. Uh, that is kind of a problem if you're trying to grow as a Twitch streamer, but I already talked about that, that That's not really what I'm trying to do. I'm not really trying to uh, become like a famous Twitch streamer or anything uh, So that's why it doesn't really bother me that much But yeah, basically on Twitch the way that you get found is like it's almost impossible to just like randomly get found by people Discoverability I think is the word because YouTube uh, I mean Twitch actually sorts live streams by most viewed so obviously we're going to start with not that many viewers, so we're literally going to be at the bottom of the list. Uh, and that's only if someone very specifically looks for us, or specifically looks for something we're doing. Like, let's say we're playing Roblox, so we're in the Roblox category, and we have some tags, like the one tag would be English, because the stream would be in English. So it'd be in the English tags. Let's say if someone looks for a Roblox category, or streams in English, then we would be, even if they would be searching for that, we would be at the very bottom. So that's kind of a downside, is that it's all, almost impossible to get found. But yeah, basically what I'm saying is it doesn't bother me that much anymore, because it's not my goal to become famous on Twitch. But to take the stream away from YouTube, where people don't seem to like it that much, and move it to Twitch, and we can keep the videos on YouTube, so everyone who loves the videos can come back. Because a lot of people have unsubscribed the channel since I started doing streaming. I was thinking like people would, uh, uh, stream lovers would subscribe. But instead, I get like about more than 10 unsubscribers a day. Like more than 300 a month right now. P people unsubscribe. So that's actually a lot of people that we're losing quite fast. So that's another reason why I'm taking away the stream from YouTube um, and bringing back the videos. So I, th I hope people will really like that. One small downside is that in the Twitch chat, you cannot see people's pictures. I kind of like that. Uh, let's see, can you guys see if I go like this? So here we have the YouTube chat right now. Uh, you can see people's pictures and stuff. And you cannot, on Twitch it doesn't show pictures, I think. I always like talking about people's pictures. Like, oh, you changed your picture to a dinosaur, cool. Uh, sadly, we cannot do that on Twitch. It's only a small downside, but, you know, they add up. That's why I'm making a pro icon list. It's like, it's only a small downside, but they still add up, you know? Uh, let's see. Also, people cannot change their YouTube name, uh, or I mean their Twitch name easily, because Twitch has a different name system than YouTube. On YouTube, you can do anything you want with your name, which actually causes more problems... So I actually kind of like this, but still, it's still sad that we cannot uh, have like people change their name just for fun. Like sometimes people just change their name to build a source fan or something. And that's that's like such a big honor for me that people would actually change their name to something like that. But on Twitch, you just sort of take one username and then you just sort of keep it forever. I think you can change it, but it's very limited. Let's see. The next thing on the list of downside is, um, okay, you know, the membership that I talked about before, uh, Twitch has that as well. Well, it's actually called subscribers there on YouTube subscribing is like free. It's like following the channel, right? On Twitch following a channel is just called follower and on Twitch if you pay money every month, then you are called subscriber uh, it's, So yeah, that's kind of confusing if you're ever new to Twitch if you co come from YouTube I was very confused about that as first as well, but yeah, if you're a Twitch subscriber uh, one downside is that it's always like uh, I think it's like at least four euros or four dollars or something. I don't know what how much it is exactly in different currencies. Um, but on YouTube, you can set any price you want. That is why right now I have the cheapest option for you to be a member of the YouTube channel for only one euro. And then you only just get the 
the basics sorry <laughs> yeah i'm kind of sad about that because i kind of like giving people the option to only donate as little as possible if they want and still get something bad back for it because i know i just really appreciate all the donations and everything uh however if you donate not monthly you can actually donate as little as you want you can donate one bit because on twitch you don't donate in money you actually donate bits it's you just basically turn money into bits which is like gems and you can donate one which is like one cent which is kind of funny. You're talking so much. We can only talk once per 60 seconds. I'm sorry, Harold Lampos. Uh, it's because I'm recording a video. After that, I will turn it back to normal. Um, Let's see. Another downside. Let's see. It is 13 plus. Oh, yeah, yeah. I already talked about this. But yeah, Twitch is 13 plus only. And you also, if you talk about your age, especially if it's younger. But yeah, just never say your age. Because then you can literally get banned on Twitch. Uh, because Twitch doesn't want to get in trouble with the law for having, like, young people on their platform. I think that's why they do it, but they make it so if you talk about your age, uh, especially if you're not an adult, if you say how old you are, you can literally get banned from Twitch. So that's kind of a weird thing, especially if I keep my channel entirely kid-friendly, which I do. It's kind of weird to ban people if for just saying their age. But yeah, that's a thing on Twitch that we have to get used to. And a rule that we'll have to make on Twitch is don't say how old you are. Uh, this is a rule that almost everyone has on Twitch. It's kind of a, a weird thing, but yeah. It's a rule. Oh, no, I was supposed to jump. Okay, let's see. And then one more downside that I wrote down. I don't know if this is going to be really a problem, but Twitch can sometimes be a bit laggy for my computer. So I hope... That won't be a problem. It's usually when I'm watching Twitch and when I'm when I'll be streaming, I probably won't be watching uh, it myself. Maybe sometimes I watch back some stuff to see if like the audio is working correctly and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm assuming and hoping it won't be too much of a problem. But YouTube, I mean Twitch, for me, sometimes it just sort of builds up lag on my computer. I don't know exactly how it works. If it's a Firefox thing, I don't really know. I'm very happy to announce that I am now done going down the list of bad things. You know, the downsides. Oh, what? I, oh, okay. I am down all the way down the list of negatives, that bad reasons not to move to Twitch. Which means we're going to get to the exciting part. The reasons why we should move to Twitch. And there's even more reasons. And this is why I've decided to try out Twitch uh, for streaming. It's because the list is just very big. There's so many things. I didn't even write everything down. And some things are like summarized and stuff. There's like a lot. Oh, come on. Come on, make it. Yes. Okay. First thing on the list. Stream avatars will work way better. So for those who never come to the stream, uh, I always use a program called Stream Avatars. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, there are some characters walking around. These are actually the viewers. Uh, and if you come to my stream, you actually get... Uh, your own little, little avatar, and you can choose which one, you know, you can be like Charizard, you can be Bendy, you can be a meatball, you can be a frog, I'm a frog right now as you can see, and this bot right here is a frog as well. Uh, it's super fun, however, I'm actually only using a small part of stream avatars options, and also a lot of things of how Streamlabs interacts with YouTube, and how buggy it is on YouTube is actually insane. Uh, stream, I mean stream avatars, not stream lab, sorry. Stream avatars is actually made for Twitch. So everything will work. We will have like dozens of extra options and things that will work that don't work on YouTube. Such as boss will, I can give boss specific drops. Uh, it will be a lot easier to change avatars and gears because you can easier use the extension. Because it will just be on the screen. Uh, right now, people have to, like, know all of the codes and stuff. Like, there's, like, a th there's already, like, a hundred reasons in one. But basically, stream avatars, is, we're going to be able to do so insanely much with it. Um, I'm already, like, I already know a lot about stream avatars. So much that I can never use or put to use because it just doesn't work on YouTube. So I'm personally very excited about that. I hope you guys are very excited about that as well. Let's see. 
the first few ideas that I have, the first few good things about Twitch are all games, <laughs> because I just love stream games. So the next one is called Pokemon Community Game. This is a game on Twitch where you get your own uh, Pokemon collection. You basically, uh, there's a bot, will be a bot in the stream, and once every 15 minutes it will announce a Pokemon has spawned. Do you want to catch it? And then you can try to catch it, and then you basically collect Pokemon, but only in like the Twitch chat. Yes, finally I made it. Finally. That only took 25 attempts. Okay, come on. Yes! Okay, I finally made it. Uh, but yeah, Pokemon Community Game. I personally really enjoy playing that on other people's uh, Twitch channels. On my other account. Sadly, I'm probably going to have to restart and play it on the Buildosaurus Twitch account. But on my personal Twitch account, I have like... I'm almost at like 300 Pokemon in my Pokedex. No! So yeah, it's really addictive actually to play that. And I don't think that works on YouTube. I think I tried it before. It's Twitch only. Uh, another thing is Marbles on Stream. Marbles on Stream is a game where everyone gets a marble and they go down like a racetrack and you cannot control them, but it's just fun to see who makes it to the end first. Uh, I love watching people stream uh, Marbles on Stream um, on Twitch. It's just super fun. Um, told me you can double jump. I bought it. Uh, I actually cannot because I have turned on. I'm actually hurting myself. I turn on pro mode, which means you get no boosts or checkpoints or anything. So basically, all the boosts that you guys get, like extra jump and stuff, checkpoints, I don't get them. I'm being very hard on myself, but I actually prefer this. I've decided to go in pro mode. You can see it at the top here. You can see my face and it says pro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm suffering on purpose. Why am I doing this to myself? The video is 10 hours long. Don't worry. Don't worry. This one will only be a 10 hour video. You're right. Another Pokemon. There's another Pokemon game. Who's that Pokemon? If you like who's that Pokemon from Pokemon where you can choose. Uh, I mean, where you can guess. Uh, that also exists on Twitch as a little game in the chat where a bot will say uh, this Pokemon. Uh... This Pokemon is orange, uh, it's one of the first starters, and it's orange, and its name is Chart uh, Salamander, and you guys, then someone will say Charmander in the chat, and then you win, I guess. It doesn't really, I don't think you get much if you win, but it's just really fun to guess the Pokemon. There's also Pixel Plush games, those are super fun, we can play those on the stream. Basically, you can drop, there's, by the way, I'll talk about this later, there's like, you will get like hundreds of emotes on Twitch. You get like a ho you get like hundreds of emotes. There's like insanely many emotes on Twitch. Oh wait, wait, wait! I did that wrong. No, oh, no, you didn't see that. Uh, but basically, there's like this little game where all you have to do is you type exclamation point drop and then an emote, and then the emote will be parachuted from the top of the screen. It will start at the top and it will just go like this down, and then whoever hits the target, that will be like a target randomly somewhere on the screen. And it, the, whoever is closest to the bullseye of the target wins. It's kind of a fun game because you see all these emotes just sort of parachuting down the stream. Like if you have an emote that's just a, like, let's say if we would have an emote that's my character, that's like my character going like this, then you just see the character going down the screen like this. It's super fun. And there's like two more games, but I'll just move on. As I said before, Twitch has an easier way to clip the best moments of streams. Uh, they have like this system that YouTube is now trying to recreate, but it doesn't work as well on YouTube as at all. I've been trying it for months, uh, but Twitch has a system to easily clip uh, yeah, so basically when something funny happens, like when I fall down now and I scream or something, you can literally just cut out that part of the stream and save it as a video. Uh, we can then easily just take those funniest parts and turn them into YouTube videos. And let's say if we get at least a few funny moments every day, I can just turn those into YouTube videos. And it might mean, I'm not going to make any promises, but it might mean that we might even be able to upload at least one video every day on the YouTube channel. Now keep in mind that over the last half year I've only uploaded like five videos. That's actually insane if we would be able to get to one video every day, even if it's a short one. And then every once in a while, like maybe once a month, we could do like a montage. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was close. Um, your stream is part of my life routine. Ah, Kiryu, thank you. 
You're so nice. Another cool thing is that uh, you can use the members only emotes somewhere else. So some people are member of the stream, right? And if you are a there we go member of the stream you get special emotes that only that you can only use if you are a member of the channel uh, i have some memes because i couldn't think of anything else i just put random memes as emotes so anyone who is a member of this channel can use these emotes but on youtube you can only use them here on twitch if you get membership which on twitch as i said is actually called subscribing there so if you are a sub on twitch on twitch you get the emotes and you can use them on anyone else's channel as well which is really cool you can just use those if you if my stream is over there we go if my stream is over and we watch someone else or something you can just still use my emotes on someone else's uh stream which I think is really cool. Another thing is raids. Raids are really cool. Just for those people who don't know, raids basically means if someone is done with the stream, instead of just ending it and then everyone just sort of leaves and goes do something else, uh, the, the streamer takes all the viewers and we all go at the same time to someone else's stream. So when, let's say if I was, oh, my stream is over on YouTube, I've tried it a few times and it didn't really work that well. YouTube is trying right now, is working on a system to try to do it as well, but it is really bad because right now you can only rate people who have like allowed you to rate them and they also need to have more than a thousand subs, which is weird. They need to have more than a thousand YouTube subscribers. So that is just really kind of a weird system. But I've tried it a few times. Basically, at the end of my stream, I say, Hey, everyone, uh, uh, the stream is over. Let's all go to my friend's stream. And then everyone... And then a lot of people try uh, come to the friend's stream and say hi there. And we just continue watching there. It's a lot of fun. Um, however, on YouTube, there's a few downsides. Uh, number one, everyone has to come by themselves. They all have to, like, find the stream and stuff. On Twitch, you just automatically get sent to the other stream. So you don't even have to put in any effort. You automatically sort of get teleported to the other stream. Um, well, also the downsides on YouTube now is that you can only raid someone with 1,000 plus subscribers, which is... I don't know why they made that. I don't... That's so weird. Uh, and yeah, so this Twitch... Uh, Twitch just has a really good system for that. And I also just know... I've actually been searching for like the past year from time to time for like kid-friendly channels. So I know a lot of kid-friendly channels now on Twitch. So we would just go to another kid-friendly channel to make sure that you guys don't... Like I wouldn't uh, send... T like teleport, raid you guys... Teleport you guys to someone's stream who's like swearing or something. Of course, I would never do that. Boing. Okay. Anyway, I love raids. Also, of course, you can get raids, which means that when we are... Wait, what? Wait, there's nothing there. <laughs> Wait, what? Which means that when we are streaming, sometimes randomly people will just come into our stream and be like, Hey, we're just done watching someone else. And now we are raiding you. Which just means they all come to our stream, which can be a really good boost in like viewers and stuff and a lot of fun. So yeah, I, th I just like... Twitch raids, uh, YouTube raids, raids just don't work as well. Um, yeah, as I said, on YouTube, a lot of people have been unsubscribing over the past few months, the, oh, the past half year, about 300 people plus a month are unsubscribing. I don't know why, but I guess it's because I always put my stream on countdown for like a whole day. So I think the people who cannot make it to the stream, oh, are you serious? Because of the bounce? The people who cannot make it to the stream, they miss every stream, but they still have to see every time like the countdown. And I think that's just really sad for them. Uh, so I can understand that people who don't, who either cannot make it to the stream or just who don't like streams, uh, that they are unsubscribing the YouTube channel. I understand. So I think it's actually a really good thing that the YouTube is going to have way more videos and no live streams. So no one will unsubscribe because of those reasons anymore. And people are screaming in the YouTube chat. We want to talk more. I'm not even reading the chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm almost done, guys. I'm like two-thirds there or more. 
But yeah, I'm hoping those people will come back to the channel, the people who just want videos, because then we can just dedicate the YouTube to videos again, and we can dedicate the Twitch to streams, which will be, it's like a win for everyone. I think it will be a win for everyone, because some people just like streams, some people just like videos more. So, and if you like both, you can just go to Twitch and YouTube. So I think it's just a win for everyone. And yeah, it's just really sad that so many people are leaving the channel, but I understand. So that can finally end. Okay, so there's just a giant hole. Wait, what? It's like they're standing on an elevator. But I'm not seeing an elevator. Is it an invisible elevator? Should I just YOLO and jump and see what happens? Okay, I don't, I don't know what? Okay. Well, okay, so channel points, as I said, when I'm live, there's channel points, right? Uh, everyone who's watching, you just get channel points over time, right? Now, I think you can t change it on Twitch as well, but on YouTube, I have it so you get one point per minute on average. Uh, whenever you're watching my stream, you get one point, and then when you get a few points, you can spend them and do something funny with them, like a little sound effect. We would have now, during this video, we would have had like 50 sound effects already if I didn't turn them off. I just turned off the redeems. Uh, because I knew I would get distracted by them because I'm trying to record this video But otherwise I would have been like 50 sound effects already uh, Because people use their channel points to redeem sounds and other stuff try to get me to sing uh, Never gonna give you up trying to get me to dance uh, Other cool stuff like there's like a ton of stuff you can make like this whole shop on Twitch That's actually better because on YouTube. It's all in the chat. You have to like know the codes You have to know the codes to redeem it, etc on Twitch, you, it will literally just be like a little page where you can choose and you can just click like it's like a game shop or something. You can just click on what you want to purchase with your channel points. Uh, also, we can make like a little icon for the channel points. Okay, I'm just stuck here. What are they jumping on? I, I don't... There's nothing for me there. Oh, oh! I'm standing on something. What am I standing on? I think a certain block is invisible for me. And I don't know what. Okay. <gasps> no! Am I making it? What? Okay, something is invisible for me and I don't know what it was. Yeah, so the whole channel point thing will actually be a lot easier. Also, certain things that I have to do when someone redeems them, I won't have to do it anymore. Like right now when someone says, um, I want the characters to fight. So there's like a redeem for a battle royale of the stream avatars for like a few hundred uh, channel points. Uh, then I have to type to start a battle royale i will type battle royale and as you'll see at the bottom of the stream uh the stream avatars will start a battle royale um but in the twitch i wouldn't have to type it it would just start automatically so that's just another extra point another extra thing that twitch has where all of that stuff is just automatic okay now battle royale is starting for no reason it's just an example but yeah i i have to type that every time someone wants to do a battle royale or a boss fight or a basketball game with the stream avatars i personally have to type it out and stuff and i have to like stop what i'm doing i won't have to do that on twitch you can make it automatic no more need for thumbnails is my next thing uh lately i've just been not feeling like making thumbnails i don't even know what i'm going to make the thumbnail for this video it's probably going to be something with like the twitch logo you know moving to twitch Moving the stream to Twitch with the Twitch logo or something. Oh, oh, oh. How are you even supposed to do this level? I don't know. <gasps> yeah, I don't... I think you're supposed to jump from the other place. Yeah, lately I've just not been feeling like making pictures for the stream. You know, thumbnails. And on you on Twitch, there's no thumbnails. It just automatic. It just shows what's happening in the stream instead of a thumbnail. Well, it's still technically a thumbnail, but it will just be like a, a snapshot, a frame of the stream. Okay, so I have different things about emotes, but I'll just say them all at once because otherwise it's going to get confusing. So basically on Twitch, as I said before, there's way more emote. Okay, I'm going to jump from here. Is that it? No, wait, what? Okay, I don't know. Uh, basically on Twitch, you get way more emote. On YouTube, you only get pretty much the default emotes. Uh, plus a few extra right now YouTube has okay. Let's let's show the screen again 
uh, right now YouTube has okay if you're a member if you, and you have to pay for this not everyone's going to pay most people won't pay but if you are a member of the channel you get some extra emotes then you have YouTube special emotes which is how, how much is this like 20 ish emotes and then you have like regular emotes right on Twitch you get member emotes which you there can be a lot of them well actually on, on youtube as well but there can be a lot of them depending on uh how many emotes the twitch streamer has um then twitch has their own emotes way more than 20 i think twitch has more like 50 to 100 twitch emotes you can also of course use regular emotes emoji um you can also get follower only emotes, which means that everyone who would be watching right now on YouTube, if YouTube had this, you would all get like special emotes that I would have made just for being a subscriber on YouTube. So if you're a Twitch follower, you can you get emotes just for following. That's it. You don't have to be a su subscriber or pay, you know, be a member of the Twitch for that, uh, which is really cool. You only have to pay for the uh, subscriber slash member only emotes. But for the follower only emotes, all you have to do is follow. That's all. Uh, which is really cool. Uh, apart from that, there's even an extension that a lot of people on Twitch use. Which lets you put even more emotes. Like a few dozen more. So if you add up all of those emotes when you get to Twitch, there's just so many emotes that you can use. There's just like a few hundred emotes that you can use. So yeah, those are like different. Basically, those are all individually uh, different reasons. I like all of those different types of emotes. Oh no, this is where I died so much last time. Okay. Okay, come on. Oh. Okay, I swear before I started this stream, I got... Wait. Oh yeah, they have a shield. I don't have a shield. They don't die to lasers. I do. I swear before I started the stream, I died there like a hundred times and I just did it on the first try. I don't know what's going on. Lucky stream? Lucky stream? Then I die. I'm gonna die now, probably. Um, emote, more like emote. <laughs> That's kind of funny. No, why did I jump so early? Yeah, I don't know why I jumped. Okay, well, rip. Okay, um, another thing that Twitch had, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, actually. I put it on the good thing list because I kind of like it, but I'll let you guys decide if you like this or not. Uh, on YouTube, if you donate, you can donate with your money, right? Like, you can donate a euro, you can donate a dollar, you can donate whatever money you have in your country. Uh, on Twitch, instead, you donate with bits. This is basically, it's still it's still the same, basically. Like, a euro is like 100 bits or something, and a dollar is like 100 or a bit less than that. But there are like little, these little diamonds, these little gems, and you can donate those little gems. And I don't know, I just think it's really fun. And you can even get like a little sound effect. So even if you guys donate one bit, which is like one cent, it's worth nothing, you can still get like a little reward. Oh, I died. I died. Who inverted the colors? I'm going blind. Ah, who did this with the colors? Why did you do this? Anyway, yeah, I'm I'm going to let you guys decide whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing. But Twitch basically has it so you can donate bits instead of uh, seeing the actual money. Personally, I like that because it will be easier to see how much I got donated. Because right now when I get a donation and it just says some random letters... It'll just say, uh, Dragon Boy has donated, and then there's like a weird symbol, 50. Uh, I'm like, what did you donate? How much is that in euros? I don't know how much that is. Every time I try to calculate. <laughs> so for me, it will definitely be a plus. Um, Tommy's being colorblind. Yes. What is happening? My whole screen. Also, there's also, I, I saw someone do a stream where you can actually summon stuff with bits which is really cool like we already tried something like that on minecraft uh where uh people could choose what they want to add in my minecraft some people like spawned ender dragons on me some people spawned uh creepers some people gave me like a thousand diamonds and stuff it's really fun uh and there's like a special mod in wait where's the block oh it's almost invisible with this color oh all right cool it's over Back to normal. Please don't infer the colors again, please. Yeah, that's just a little bonus. Like, we should probably try that out. Like, Minecraft, but every time someone donates, even if it's, like, one cent, it will be, like, uh... It will spawn, like, a cat or a fish or a dog or a zombie or just something random. 
Uh, will you be a VTuber? Uh, no, I have thought about on days. Sometimes I just have bad days where I just... I, I don't have that much energy. I might get like a little PNG for that. Like j maybe just my character or something. I don't know. But for now, the face cam is working for me. So as I said before, on Twitch, people can only have very limited... P there are some big limits with what you can put in your Twitch username. However, for the stream, I think it's actually going to be mostly a good thing. Um, because if people cannot change their username all the time, we get people right now... We get a lot of people joining the stream and they have swears in their username because YouTube has no rules on usernames. You can literally put a whole sentence with swears. Hey, look at it. It's the Ukraine. I'm wearing my Ukraine shirt and I'm on the Ukraine block. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, sometimes we get people joining the stream and they just have swears in their names and YouTube won't do anything about it. YouTube just doesn't care because they don't have any rules. On Twitch, uh, you can have some swears in your name, but we can just ban those people. And then we have to just, then we can just sort of chill. Imagine Bill Swears becoming a VTuber. I don't even know how that works. I tried making it once for fun, but it didn't work. So we won't get those spammers anymore, I hope. There's still other types of spammers on Twitch, but I don't really care about those. They don't swear. swear. The most spammers that I've seen, uh, spam bots that I've seen on Twitch are just saying like, do you want to buy followers? Do you want to buy followers? And then they just sort of get automatically banned by a bot. And <laughs> that's it. So, yeah, I'd rather have those. I'd rather have those spammers than the ones that we're getting now that have like a lot of swears in their name for no reason. Um. Oof. Oh, I, I touched that laser. What? I almost couldn't see it. Okay, so the next reason in the list why I want to move to Twitch uh, is pretty hard and easy to explain, depending on how much you guys know about YouTube. So basically, the next reason in my list is called... Uh, well, there's a swear in it. I cannot say it. But the reason is uh, I just don't like... Let's, let's just say I don't like YouTube that much anymore. So basically, YouTube as a platform... Uh, YouTube is a company f that's owned by Google, of course. And they care a lot about money. And I've been on YouTube. For those who don't know, I've been on YouTube as a platform for over 15 years. A month ago, it was my 15th birthday of my first video that I ever made on YouTube. Which is insane. Um... Over the past 15 years, YouTube has not treated me very nicely. YouTube has a lot of problematic systems. Uh, YouTube has a lot of stuff that shows that they don't really care that much about the creators and they care more about the money, stuff like that. I don't want to get into it too much. It's kind of depressing, but basically, to me, that by itself, just me being a little bit fed up with YouTube and every the, the nonsense that they pull every time, for me, it's like good enough of a reason to say I want to try out Twitch sometime and see if they're at least a little bit better. I know that Twitch also definitely has issues. Um, I'm not going to say Twitch is better or is worse or anything. But it's worth trying out, considering how long YouTube has been treating me the way they have been treating me. I think it's worth trying out Twitch. So that's a reason by itself for me. Copyright, yes. Okay, so Twitch definitely also has copyright systems in place, uh, where they try to detect if someone's doing copyright copyrighted stuff. Uh, but they're definitely not as big as, uh, or they definitely don't make as big of a problem of it as YouTube. On YouTube, basically right now, I'm doing it as perfect as I can, and I cannot do it any more perfect. And I'm still not doing it good enough for YouTube, because basically, ideally, you should credit all the artists that you use music of, which I very strongly agree with. Um, I've always very strongly agreed with this. Uh, I think there are some people like Kevin McLeod who make free music. They work really hard to make free music for people to use in their videos on YouTube. And all we have to do, all we YouTubers have to do is like give them some credit in the description, right? All we have to do is like, oh, this song was made by Kevin McLeod and put that in your description. Uh, that's all you have to do. However, with live streaming, it's not that easy. As I said, right now we have a playlist with over 5,000 songs. Wait. Oh god, is this thing again? How do you deal with that thing? I don't know how you deal with that thing. It's just a star of laser. 
We have 5,000. Okay, I'm going to try to focus. Focus, Tommy. Focus. Focus. Okay. Uh, more than 5,000 songs we have right now in the playlist. Which means it is impossible to put everyone in the description. Let's see how I have it right now. I use a playlist of almost 5,000 songs, now four more. Uh, copyright free artists. Um, and then I just put some examples. I just put some people and credit them. But I cannot credit everyone. I cannot credit 5,000 songs in a description. It just doesn't fit. Did someone change the colors again? Are you serious? Why? Why must you bamboozle me like this? Okay. Why am I so bad at this jump? It's an easy jump. Just don't jump so early. So yeah, basically, no matter what I do, I will never do it right for YouTube. Which is just another reason why I want to move to Twitch. Like, I hope that all of these artists, these copyright-free artists, understand that I do want to credit all of you. But I can't. I literally can't. And that's what I've said in the description as well. I'm still going to try to be copyright, go use as much copyright free music as I can. Because of course, I'm going to try to turn the Twitch streams into like YouTube cli clips for YouTube and best stream moments. Just kind of like what I'm doing right now, a talking video, but probably better. <laughs> probably better. This video is probably going to be a mess. Literally just me talking for one or two hours. I don't even know how long I've been talking already. Way too long. Okay, so whenever someone joins your stream on Twitch, you can make it so they instantly see the rules. I don't think YouTube has this. I've never found it on YouTube so far. Uh, maybe I'm just wrong, but on Twitch, I really like that because we have a lot of rules, of course. Being a kid-friendly community, um, we have a lot of rules to try to get people to behave. Um, and on Twitch, they have a system so no one can even talk on Twitch before reading the rules. You will first read the rules of the channel and you have to click accept the rules before you can watch. So I know for sure that everyone has either read the rules or at least accepted them. So no one can pretend like, oh, I didn't know the rules. What? I didn't know those rules. Like, nope, you can't say that anymore. Because on Twitch, you will just get those rules before you can even type. I'm going down the list a little faster, I think. I still have like 10 things. Maybe even 20 left. Um, people won't change their YouTube name as often. Or they, they won't change their Twitch name as often as on YouTube. Because even though I think you can change your Twitch name. It's like a thing that you can only do rarely. And since it's limited, people won't do it as often. Because for me, it confuses me a lot. Like, I'm not saying you guys shouldn't do it. Or you're not allowed to do it or something. But a lot of people who watch the stream like to change their name often. And... It just confuses me so much. It confuses me a lot. <laughs> I just always get so confused. Like, who is this? Who are you? Oh, it's this dead person with a new name. So I'm sorry, guys. I like your names. I'm sorry. I like your YouTube names. But if you change them too much, I just get confused, okay? My brain is small. Okay, here's a really cool reason. Here's a really cool thing. Also, I want a different song. This one... This one is eh. Okay, so another really good reason that I personally like... Uh, one of my favorite reasons on Twitch is that you can have a lot of badges. Okay, I'm going to drag again the YouTube chat in the screen. Uh, right now on YouTube, you can have a few badges. You can have, of course, you have the confirmation if you're verified. Uh, mod. And then there's the, uh, the members badge. If you're a member, you get a badge. And it levels up if you've been a member longer, which is pretty cool. But it was inspired by Twitch. So, of course, Twitch has that as well. Twitch has that badge as well. And Twitch actually has like a bunch more badges. Uh, Twitch has a badge for if you're a subscriber, which is like a Twitch member. And the longer you are a member, it levels up. That's basically the same as on YouTube. They have a badge for people who are first. So make sure not to miss my first few streams. Maybe you guys can get a first badge. You will actually literally have a little badge that says you were one of the first forever. Um, although I might, if people aren't loyal viewers, I might take it away from some people. If like, let's say if a bot comes in first and they get a first badge. So I don't really know how that works. And then I will instead give it to someone else. But yeah, um, I can also give certain people VIP badge. So if you come to the stream a lot and you're nice, um, and you're just part of the community, I might give you a VIP badge. This, this doesn't really mean much. This is a special badge. That you're a special viewer. Oh god. I keep forgetting that it's even there. I don't understand. Who made this level? It's literally just a laser star. 
a wheel of laser that you cannot get around or I think there's an invisible block somewhere around it that you're supposed to go on that I can't see because that's probably the same issue as we had before drink some water I probably should I probably should I've been talking for a while there we go there we go there we go a little sip a little sip uh, anyway, that's only some of the many badges th that you can have. Also, if you donate, you always get a badge, even if you donate one cent. Which, as I said before, on Twitch you don't have money, you have bits. So even if you donate only one bit... <laughs> sometimes I do this, just as a troll on Twitch. I sometimes just do this as a troll. I just donate people one bit, and then I get a badge. Then I get a one bit badge. Also, there's, um sub gifters badge i think i'm not entirely sure i don't know there's like there's so many badges that you can have you can only like ha have some in front of your name like three at a time because there's just so many if people would have wear them all at the same time how do you i don't even i've literally never finished this level i'm so bad at this level okay i'm gonna try again come on i think you just go like this maybe wait can you go down here <gasps> oh wait Oh, you're supposed to do stuff here. I never knew that. And talking Saurus now. <laughs> People are like, stop it, talking Saurus. Are you building Saurus or talking Saurus? I'm sorry, I'm going to end this video soon. Uh, only like 10 more things, okay? Um, let's see. You get free follower emotes. I already talked about that. Uh, you can also have a timer for how long the stream is going to be. And then if people donate, it becomes longer. And you have to stream longer. We already do this. We already have this. Uh, except I always have to calculate in my head. Like, if someone donates, I always have to calculate. Oh, thank you for donating one euro. Now I will stream ten minutes longer or something like that. Uh, and I sort of have to like think about it. But on Twitch you can add like a little timer that I've seen people use. So that will be fun. Some people who are rich sometimes like to donate until one time I did like a nine hour stream because of so many donations. <laughs> Another cool thing that I really like on Twitch is that I can take other channels that I like, other streamers, which is of course kid friendly ones. And I can put them in a list. And then they will show on my stream when I'm not live. So when I'm not live, it won't the twi the stream won't just disappear and then it will be an empty screen. Instead, there will just be a different person there. Like right now, if you go to twitch.tv slash buildosaurus with an I, because buildosaurus without the I, Boldosaurus is someone else. The one with the T-Rex, uh, the black and white T-Rex from just uh, just part. That one is not me. Anyway, if you go to twitch.tv slash buildosaurus, right now you will already see someone streaming. Hopefully a kid-friendly person playing Minecraft or something. Because I've got a lot of kid-friendly Minecrafters and stuff like that. And Roblox players. So that's something that I really like. Because it basically turns the page, twitch.tv slash buildosaurus, it turns the page into like a television that always has something going on. There's always at least one person, there's always at least one stream going on, on that page. Even if it's not me, I'm just hosting someone else. That's called hosting. When you have someone else on your page. You should try get away when people donate. It throws a bit at you. So like a hundred is a big bit, a thousand even bigger, something like that. Ah, that, may, that might even be possible to do. I don't know. Uh, let's see. We can also set channel point goals. That's really cool as well. I should have probably categorized this video. I'm just saying things randomly when I write, wrote them down. But yeah, basically, uh, you know how there's a lot of viewers and they all, when they view, they get their channel points, which we call blocks. So everyone gets blocks. Uh, I can set like a goal, like if together you guys donate, if you guys give me like... I don't know, 100,000 blocks, right? Everyone together, not one person. But if everyone together gives me like 100... If we ever reach 100,000 blocks, then I will stream Five Nights at Freddy's or something. Or I don't know, whatever people want. Um, like, we can set a goal like that. That's really cool because that way you know that people really want it. Um, and especially the people who watch a lot want it because those are the people who have the most uh, channel points and they can donate those channel points to like a goal which is pretty cool poppy playtime 
sure if you guys really want poppy playtime i could make like a goal if you guys donate i know hundred thousand is a lot if you guys donate ten thousand blocks total i will play poppy playtime maybe something like that we could do oh god oh what's happening Ooh. oh i forgot to say this in when i was talking about emotes you can also have moving emotes you can also have moving emotes on twitch which are so cool youtube doesn't have that i think there's not even a single moving emote on on youtube but on twitch you can have like dancing emotes and stuff there's literally emotes that are just just people going like this and it just keeps going forever you can have pop cat just just going on forever yeah you can just there's like a lot of different ones that you can have so you cannot have those in youtube i'm pretty sure and i want moving emotes i want moving emotes okay that's it that's that whole point next point uh oh yeah kapamon kapamon is a bot that's like a little guy on the screen that greets the new viewers it's really cool and you can do other stuff with it too i don't know exactly everything that you can do with it but i've always wanted one of those so basically it will be like there's also a raptor one so i'll probably take that one basically there will be like a little raptor on the screen and every time someone talks for the first time uh the raptor will say hello let's say if uh let's say if scary says something uh the little raptor will go hi scary welcome to the stream I don't know. It's just funny. I just really want that. I was oh wow! I fell under it, but I was I was going. Oh. When are you going to stop talking? <laughs> okay, guys. After this video is done recording, one hour of silence. One hour of just me. No more chat delays. It's just going to be you guys talking and me quiet. Good deal. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Um, on ban requests. So on uh, YouTube, if you ban someone, that's just sort of the end. They're just banned forever. I can unban them. But if they don't want to be banned anymore or they want to say sorry, they will have to go to like another platform. They will have to like say sorry on Discord or something. Um, on Twitch, if you get banned, you can do an unban request so if you feel like you've been banned unfairly i can read your apology or something like that uh which i think would be really nice because sometimes people get banned and i'm like a little bit worried like oh what if they were just joking you know i always feel sad when i have to ban someone even though i shouldn't feel bad because a lot of people are just meanies but yeah it's kind of cool that people on twitch they when they get banned they can just say sorry and then i can forgive them and they can come back to the channel and the bots will of course never do an unban request because they're bots so they can just stay banned forever the spam bot i don't know i think that's just a really cool system that uh i would personally really like there's a lot of plugins i put this as a reason but i don't actually know that many there's like a lot of plugins or i don't know if plugins is even what they're called but there's a lot of extra stuff that you can put on the screen and around the screen uh like um subtitles you can just put subtitles on the on the stream um i don't know there's like giveaways but it will be like a button on the screen you can like add all these buttons on the screen and i i will figure out how those work i don't know how those work but they're pretty cool he's getting excited for features that have been on the platform for years i know they have not been on youtube that's the problem i've never said that these things are new to twitch i've just never streamed on twitch i've done zeros what, what? wait what the blocks fell down I've just never streamed on Twitch, so everything is a new feature to me. Especially if you're on YouTube, all these things are new because YouTube just doesn't have that many features for streaming. Which is understandable because YouTube is kind of new to uh, having streaming on it. Uh, but right now I just feel like I would prefer trying Twitch. You can join a team on Twitch. I don't really know if you know what that means, but you can. We could make a team with other streamers basically so everyone who streams can be part of like a certain team i've never seen a team with more than like four people in it so i don't know if there's like a limit to how many people can be in it but it basically means like um you know like when you had like the pals on roblox on youtube um something like that but like on twitch where different streamers kind of work together i guess i don't know i don't know i think it's just really interesting and i maybe i want to join a team or make a team would be cool um let's see people can name their own bots i don't know how i've seen people do it I'll, I'll ask a friend on how to do it basically my bots are just called the default name so i have nightbot which is this little froggy here i've made them both frogs where's the other one 
Oh, the other one is currently not here. Okay, and then the other blue frog is Streamlabs. So they are just called Nightbot and Streamlabs. But it would be funny if we would call them Raptor Bot and T-Rex Bot or something. I don't know. I don't know what we would call them. Okay, what is going on here with these blocks disappearing? Are they going to respawn? You can collect your channel points as well, which is really cool. Like right now, you just get like one block per minute on average. If you watch the stream, you get about... <coughs> sorry. Like one block or channel point per minute. And you just sort of have to believe that. On Twitch, you can actually click to collect them. It'll be like a little chest or something. I don't know. I think you just click on the logo of the channel points. We'll make like a logo, like a little block. And then you'll just get, and then it'll say, you just got 10 blocks for watching 10 more minutes or something like that. Which I think is pretty cool. Twitch also has the option to turn off the ability for people to say the exact same message twice in a row. I really like that. I really like that because they get a lot of spammers. Even the friendly people sometimes spam. So if it's literally impossible for them to say the same message twice in a row. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna YOLO again. What? There is a block there. It's invisible. Okay, that's weird. Uh, well, if Twitch makes it impossible for people to say the exact same message twice, they could still kind of cheat by slightly editing the message. But it's still a little bit better. I think that's a nice feature that Twitch has. Uh, there's the option to restream a stream. I don't know how that even really works. So when a stream is over, but I still want... Or maybe like one day I cannot stream. I can just like restream the previous stream. I don't know if that's fun to watch though, because I won't actually be live. It'll basically be like the video of the previous stream. So we'll, I will have to try that out, see if we like it. Uh, but it's an option, which is interesting. Uh, let's see. People cannot remove their own messages. On YouTube, people can remove their own messages. And people do it all the time when they're spamming or swearing. Uh, they will like break one of the rules and then quickly remove their own message on YouTube in the chat. Um, and it's really annoying to me. They try to get it. Uh, they try to do it so they don't get banned for spamming or swearing. Uh, on Twitch, luckily, people won't do that. So my stream, my chat won't be filled with this message was deleted by the creator. Wait, why is everyone the same avatar? Wait, what's? Why is everyone the same girl with the orange hat? What the heck? Wait, there were like seventeen girls with orange hats. Are these bots? Okay, I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna tape your mouth. No, I'm almost done. Come on guys. Hold on a little longer uh, Let's see Okay, right now Voting on YouTube is really annoying. We have tried, you know to decide uh, With the viewers what games to play etc uh, Every single thing we do to try to vote together. There are people who like to cheat um there's people who have a lot of different YouTube accounts. Some people have like a hundred YouTube accounts. So sometimes we'll have like 10 viewers and I'll make like a, I'll make like a, a poll. Like what game do you want to play next? This or that? And then like one of them will have like 30 votes, <laughs> but we only have 10 viewers. It's just because people che cheat using other accounts. So on Twitch, that won't really be as much of a problem because switching between two accounts in Twitch is a real pain. Oh, dang it. I slipped. I, I I now have two accounts on Twitch and I try to switch between them sometimes. It's a pain. You have to like get a, you have to get an extra email address and you have to like get a code on the extra email address and then you have to use that code on Twitch. That's just to switch to one account. So yeah. If you have multiple devices, it would be possible, but that would still only be like one extra vote. If people cheat with one extra vote, it's still not as much as a problem as uh, people cheating with more, with like a hundred accounts. Also, people might, we can even make it the option that people can vote with channel points. So if they really want to play a game, like let's say if I say, do you want to play Roblox or Minecraft? And someone really wants to play Minecraft and they're a loyal viewer and they've saved up a lot of points. They can like use uh, a bunch of points to get an extra vote. And people say, oh, that's pay to win. Uh, it's not really pay to win. I mean, it's just channel points. And also, those people who will use the extra points are the loyal viewers, right? Those are the people who are really watching. Because otherwise, they wouldn't have points. And all the people who just... Oh, why did I jump like that? Okay. All the people who don't use channel points are the people who never watch anyway. Because they don't have channel points. They are people who just joined for 10 minutes and then leave. 
so I actually really like that system. I actually personally like that system because it allows for the people who really watch a lot of the streams to have the biggest power. Yeah, the people who watch the most have the most power over what I stream, which I think is fair. I think it's fair. So yeah, I'm hopeful that we're finally going to get like a fair voting system because it have, has been a struggle. It has been a serious struggle over the past few years on YouTube. Um, not really YouTube's fault. Uh, we've also tried Discord, but not everyone has Discord. Uh, we've also tried one site where you can just make polls, but that site broke. Then I tried other site. That site didn't really work that well. So yeah, we tried like a ton of different stuff. We tried like three more things. Okay, only three more things, guys. Uh, no, wait, I already said this one. I already said this one. Okay, I only have one more. Never mind, I already said the other two. One thing that's really funny to me, and Stefan also really likes this one, um, is you can make uh, emotes float on the screen. So whenever anyone says any emotes in the chat, those emotes will float on the stream on the screen. I don't know how people do it, but it's really funny, and I really want that. It's really cool. So basically, let's say if uh, I do something bad, and a lot of people are mad, and they are angry, they're doing like angry emotes in the chat, then all on the stream, you will see like a rain. No, wait, it goes up. It's more like floating, floating up like all of these angry emotes when I do something bad. Or when I do something funny, there will be all these uh, laughing emotes flying on the screen. Yeah, see? Now he's doing angry emotes. Oh, actually, people think I'm doing a bad thing now by talking so much. They just want to watch the stream. Yeah, so if someone would type like four emotes, then exactly four emotes or emojis would be floating across the screen for like only a second or two. Like not that long, of course, not so that they take up the whole screen, of course. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. Like, I really like that. That is the last thing that I wrote down. I'm sorry that this video was such a mess because I just wrote down over the past two months or so. I just wrote down random things that I could think of that I really liked about Twitch and that I didn't like about Twitch and that I liked about YouTube and that I didn't like about YouTube. Every time I was watching a stream on Twitch or YouTube, I would like write down stuff. So it's kind of like chaotic just looking through my notes. Uh, so yeah, I'm sorry everyone who watched this video all the way to the end. That's insane. Thank you so much And I hope you guys now really understand why I've decided I want to try out Twitch There's so many so many different things on Twitch. Oh six five four three two one. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my god Wow Thanks guys Hey, well, at least I'm playing fair, okay? I'm not using boosts. All those people are using, like, speed boosts. They're using checkpoints. They're even using armor so the laser doesn't kill them. I don't have any of those things, okay? <laughs> I'm still proud of myself. <sighs> that would be a funny moment to clip. If this was Twitch, we could have clipped that. Okay, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Don't forget to stop like a dinosaur. And if you have a Twitch account, and if you're 13+, plus, because you have to be 13 plus for a Twitch. Come to the Twitch. It's twitch.tv.buildosaurus. No, wait, twitch.tv slash buildosaurus, sorry. And not bulldosaurus without the I. Uh, that's someone else. So go to the link, because if you search for buildosaurus on Twitch right now, you only find bulldosaurus. And that's not me. That's someone else. I think they stream in another language. They stream FIFA. So if you like FIFA, you can follow them too. But yeah. Follow me, not subscribe. I will probably say this wrong a lot of times. On Twitch, it's called follow. On YouTube, it's called subscribe. So follow me on Twitch. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to stomp like a dancer. See you on Twitch. Bye-bye.